Boker Tov. I'm Stephen Ben Danun, and you are watching Israeli News Live. This message today, this news message, will be airing both on our news channel as IsraeliNewsLive.org, as well as our uh, Bible teaching channel, Israel Returns. Dot com uh, for the Noon Institute of Biblical Research. This is a very serious news alert. It is a prophetic news alert, and it is something that we felt that we should bring to the people immediately. It is very serious and a very serious hour in which we're living in. Um, I wanted to take and bring this to your attention immediately. <clears throat> what we are seeing around us, around the world, in the political spectrum and the religious spectrum is nothing less than biblical prophecy, but it is a serious biblical prophecy being fulfilled. It is a sign of the destruction of the earth. And I know there's a lot of different teachings that are going on all over the world, but this one here is newsworthy, is why we brought it here to Israeli News Live. Um, I want to share with you, notice the, the image that you are seeing in the screen there. These This is from a... Um, website, an Israeli website, which we have posted there for you. And the caption there uh, is written in Hebrew. It is uh, uh, Palestinians or Gazians is Hamas militants, uh, terrorist. And of course, their name is written in Hebrew. Chet uh, Mem Samech is how it's actually written there. It's important that you notice that. And then we'll go right into this message and this story as well. Uh, in I want to bring you to Genesis chapter 6, and we're going to start here with verse um, 11. This is, uh, of course, the birth of Noah's sons is spoken a little bit earlier uh, in the chapter before, but now God speaks again in verse 10 about Noah and his three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Verse 11 says, um, and I'm reading from the Mamre uh, translation uh, of the Hebrew Bible, and the earth was corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. And God saw the earth, and behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh corrupted their way upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh has come before me, for the earth is filled with violence though, <clears throat> uh, th excuse me, through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Now, we realize that God swore he would never bring a flood again. So I want to make sure that I'm clear on stating that. Uh, but nonetheless, we do know that there comes a destruction from the Almighty again. And this time he will burn with fire, not with a flood. But <clears throat> I wanted to bring to your attention that we have literally came to a prophetic point to where this particular prophecy that was given to Noah by God is being fulfilled again today. Now, most people would say, yes, we know there's violence all over the earth, but there's something that you may not be aware of. So let me take you to the Hebrew language uh, in regards to this prophecy. I want to read to you slowly so that you can hear it clearly, and I will translate as I go. <clears throat> verse 13 says here, and it's also, by the way, in verse 12, um, you just you, you just may not realize it. I'm sorry, verse 11 is where this is at as well, but I, I'll first read to you in verse 13, the prophetic application of what's happening right before your eyes all over the world. And then we will look at the fulfillment of this prophecy. And so you can see where we are at in God's timepiece here. It says, the Yomat Elohim la Noach. And God said to Noah, Kates kol basar balifne. The end of all flesh has come before me. Ki ma'ala Haaretz, Hamas, mi panechem ve hineni mashachatam et haaretz. And he says right here, uh, for the earth is filled with Hamas, violence, injustice, robbery, theft. There's several words that are synonyms to Hamas. And God had said here to Noah that the time had come that all the, the end of all flesh had come before God or before him. 
כי מלא, מלא הארץ חמאס, for the earth is filled with חמאס. מי פניהם והנני משחיתם תם את הארץ. And through them, and indeed I will destroy them from the earth. Hamas is the Hebrew word for violence. It is also the very name of the terrorist organization in Gaza. The reason why this is such an important news broadcast prophetic uh, update for you, it is beyond a story, it is an urgent message. Uh, message that must be brought forth is because the world has now begun to side with Hamas. The spelling that you see in the caption here on our screen, Chet Mem Samek, is the exact same way that it is spelled in the biblical text. Now, maybe Hamas uses this uh, uh, synonym of injustice, but the thing is, is the injustice is upon them. The violence is upon them. Everywhere in Israel, we see Hamas. We see violence all throughout Israel. Gulio Miati recently published a story in Israel National News that it was Europe that caused the cruelty, the violence to this 11-year-old young lady that was burned by a Hamas, a terrorist organization. It was the <coughs> coalition between the Palestinian government, Mahmoud Abbas, his leader of the PA uh, agreement there, that made a unity government with Hamas just before Pope Francis visited Israel uh, la- uh, just, just recently here, just a few months ago. Uh, and ironically, the Pope, very much aware of the unity government, came and was supportive of the unity government. It is also the Lutheran and the Presbyterian churches that are supportive of Hamas. It is the European Union that is supportive of Hamas. It is also Russia that is supportive of Hamas. Practically every nation in the world is in support of Hamas Because when you're in support of a two-state solution, you're in support of Hamas. You're in support of violence. You're in support of injustice. The world is filled with Hamas. Even the religious circles are filled with Hamas. All replacement theologists are now supporting Hamas. Saying that they are not a terrorist organization. The High Court of the European Union declared that Hamas is not a terrorist organization. And right immediately thereafter, they were bombing, stabbing, murdering Jews in cold blood. People that are not even military wing of Israel. It is Hamas. The world is filled with Hamas. You see, God is the same. He is Gam Hazeh Vehayom. וגם הזה אתמו וגם הזה לעולם. God is the same yesterday, today, and God is the same forever. As his name so declares. יאיוי. His name declares that he, is this, that he was, he is, and he will forever be. And if God said here to Noah in the 13th verse, ויאמר אלוהים לנוח קיץ כל בשר בא לפני כי מלאך הארץ חמס מפנים והנני משחטם את הארץ. Then God will actually bring to pass once again exactly what he said he would do. And God said unto Noah, I read to you for English here, the end of all flesh has come before me, for the earth is filled with violence, חמס, through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Or actually, literally in Hebrew, it's from the earth. Ma shechatam. See? From the earth. The time is before us. That the God of Israel is actually seeing this world that we live in is once again being filled with violence. 
the governments, the democracies of the world, even the United States, Barack Obama in support of Hamas. The world is filled with Hamas. What else does God have left to do but to carry out the same course of action that he did nearly four, over 4,000 years ago? We are now sitting at the brink of judgment of Almighty God. I'm sure that we will see in the coming months and weeks, days, as Hamas continues to bring about more violence in Israel, that more of the world leaders, more people from around the world will side with them and stand with Hamas. It is a sign for you. It is a sign for those that are Jews that the end of this earth is soon at hand. That could be months, it could be weeks, it could be years. We know there's still seven years, according to Daniel's vision, that is allotted to Israel. The 70th week of Daniel. When that begins, I am not sure. But one thing's for sure. We have before us a biblical, a newsworthy biblical sign that has been staring us right in the face. And the only thing that God can do justly is to carry out the same thing he did 4,000 years ago with the exception that he swore he would not do it by water. It's time to get your house in order. It's time for all of us to get our homes in order. Stand with Israel. For if you do not stand with Israel, you do not stand with God. The time will come, there will be a remnant of Jews that will believe. That time is very close at hand. I'm Stephen Bendenun with Israeli News Live with your prophetic warning. I would love to say Shalom. Avam and Shalom. There is no peace. Okay, tough.